This will be real quick. I wasn't intending to do it, but got a question about it, and I can't not show you because it's such a charming theme. So just um, eyes up for a minute. I promise it'll be very brief. In general, you grab a seat. Would help. So remember, we said this, the unit circle, gives you a new definition for sine and cos that's sort of nothing to do with triangles anymore. It's to do with this circle and where you are on it. That's very important because when you have angles bigger than 180 degrees, you can't fit them in triangles, right? It's like that thing, you can't draw any triangle that can contain those angles. So that's why the unit circle helps us there. But the astute among you will have noticed, it only redefines sine and cos, and we're missing tan. Now, the first thing is you can say, well, you can just work out tan from those guys, right? Because our definition for tan, if you recall, was the ratio of sine over cos, right? And in fact, that explains why, because this is opposite on hypotenuse, and this is adjacent on hypotenuse, you've got a fraction on, fraction on a fraction, the hypotenuse is hypotenuses, they cancel, right? So that's why you get just opposite on adjacent, the hypotenuses are gone, right? But, and this is the thing that I love so much, it doesn't explain anything about why tan is called tan. Um, does anyone know what tan is an abbreviation of? Tangent. Tangent, which is like, I know what that is, but what does that have to do with anything? Triangles don't have tangents, but circles do. So have a look, here's where I put theta before, right? We know cos theta, is the x-coordinate of that point. Sine theta is the y-coordinate of that point. But what would be the tangent that goes with this angle? Well, let me draw it in for you, okay? What's tricky about it is because tangents are outside circles, I need to extend this line a little further. I'm gonna draw a tangent up from this point here. What's that? One comma zero, okay? And I'm going to draw it up, it's tangent like so, until it meets that was a squeaky sound, until it meets that radius if I extended it, okay? Now think about this with me, right? If this is a right angle, because actually <laughs> you guys don't learn anymore that the tangent is perpendicular to the radius, but it is. That's a right angle. What's this length along here? It's the unit circle, right? Yeah. That's one. Do you agree? Yeah. Now just have a look here. Think about this. We worked out, I'll put the triangle back so you can see it. We worked out this length and this length by saying, oh, this is the adjacent side, this is the uh, opposite side, right? I want you to try and work out, what would that side be in terms of this triangle? What ratio links this side to this side? Um, it's, it's opposite on adjacent, that's, that's tan, right? So tan theta equals opposite on adjacent. So this, this side here, is tan theta. This is the meaning. Why is it called tan? It's the length of that part of the tangent formed by this angle. If you gave me a bigger angle, right, then the, this would extend up higher and you would go further along and your tangent would be longer. So your tan of this length is higher. So for instance, if we said, what do we say? Tan of pi on four. That's tan of 45 degrees. This is a number you should know. What is it? What's the exact value? 10 to 45 degrees. Think, think, think. 90. This is a number. This is a ratio between just a, It's 1. 10 of pi on 4. That should make sense because pi on 4, look at that. See if that's pi on 4. This is 1. This is 1. It's just square. Do you see that? That's the length. 1 would be the length of that tangent. If I increase the size of the angle to something like, uh, let's go, I'm trying to think of a nice angle that you guys, let's just do two, no that's not right, let's just do pi on three, it'll illustrate. Now tan pi on three, you can pop this in your calculator if it's in radians mode, what do you get? Tan of pi on three. 1.7. 1 1.7 1 .7 dot 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 dot. That's root three, I'm pretty sure. You can chuck in root three and see if it's the same number. That should make sense. It's longer, because pi on three is a higher angle, so you're getting a longer tangent, right? What would happen if you had uh, an angle of pi on two? What would happen? When would this line meet that tangent? When would this line meet that tangent? And the answer is never, which is why if you try tan of pi on 2, your calculator says, forget it, I can't do that, I can't work out, I never connect to that tangent, it's undefined. Okay? So cos 
is the x coordinate on the circle. Y is the, sorry, sine is the y coordinate. Tan is the length of this tangent that you get when you extend it upwards. Okay? Um, you don't need to know that, but for me, I'm kind of like, it's kind of frustrating that I've I studied. I did a whole mathematics degree using this thing, never knowing why it was called what it was called, and that's the reason.